sorry if I laugh a little because the mic is tickling me a bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, okay. So greedy, grunty, fat, occasionally smelly, flat-faced, dribbly, and repugnant. These are some of the words that may come into your mind when you come across a pig or you think about the monster that was hiding under your bed when you were little. Fortunately for me, it wasn't a pig or a monster. Thank God, it wasn't a monster, but it was something a little different, something I find cutely repugnant: a pug. And in case you didn't know, a pug is a dog breed famous for its social and clownish behavior, and particularly for its flat face that looks like it walked into a wall of wet black paint. So I'm here today to tell you a story about me and a pug named Richie. My friends did warn me that no one would want to hear a girl talk about her dog for five, ten minutes. It's crazy, you know. But that's exactly what I'm going to do today, <laughs> with a little twist. After my neighbors saw Richie abandoned at a veterinary clinic six years ago, they decided to adopt him. It's not uncommon to have a dog or pets in general because about 37 to 47 percent of households just in America have dogs as pets. So what's special between me and Richie or Richie and my neighbors? Probably a special bond that exists between pet owners and their pets that deserve to be celebrated. Of in the past, we have heard many stories of how dogs or pets in general have pulled people out of depressing times or have helped save lives. My story with Richie runs along the same lines, but I want to emphasize the point that unexpected things can come into your life for the better. In my life, I've seen dogs literally everywhere. My family used to have a guard dog, and my father's house had about ten dachshunds. So Richie wasn't that new to me, and well, I had always been quite distant to dogs, and I thought that would be the same between me and Richie at first. However, one morning I came downstairs to the front door, and I found him sitting, wagging his tail, looking all innocent, obedient, and I felt really touched. No dog has ever greeted me like that before. So I pet him, and I let him sniff my legs as I went to the back door, and I found another surprise waiting for me. Poop. On the floor that had just been cleaned the day before, so things became a little clearer to me. There was a reason why he sat at the front door, blocking my way to go out. Yes, he is a smart dog. Well, that was actually the first time he made me laugh, and I felt really, really touched. He has a life, though he doesn't speak. He feels, you know. He felt the urge to hide away his dirty business, like a child telling her parents she did not spill juice when she cleared the mess with her white shirt. That was me. So the moment I started seeing Richie from a different perspective, I realized that he has a life and a value. He has a story to tell, and so does everyone. I realized that there are people, or dogs, or anyone in this world that have the value to change me, like how change people, like how Richie has changed me, but don't have the opportunity to do so. So it breaks my heart knowing that not everyone has a home. I remember when I first moved to Bangkok. And I found out that the dog that was living with the security guards in my apartment was about to be sent away to a dog shelter notoriously known for its lack of care of dogs. I, with the help of my parents, immediately called the dog adoption center and was able to find him a new home within two days. Just that phone call made a difference. Well, had Richie not come into my life, I may have not done this. The point is that you should. Appreciate the small things that come to your life because you never know what it can lead to. Maybe smiling at someone can turn their frown upside down, or like adopting a dog could help prevent a dog from being put to sleep because not many people know about adoption. And I promise you that beautiful things can come out of this, like this selfie. <laughs> Just a side note: it was really hard to get this picture taken because he bites my phone every time I take it off. Like. <laughs> Well, I suggest now that you take your time to think. There are many organizations that allow you to help, such as the Soy Dog Foundation. The Soy Dog Foundation is a foundation that rescues over thousands of dogs each year. They look after the dogs and they help find permanent homes for the dogs to live the life that they deserve to live. You can adopt a dog or you can sponsor a dog. And I must emphasize that your help isn't just limited to dogs, but to everyone, because I believe that everyone deserves a home. So I'll leave you with a question: How can you be the unexpected things that people want to gra grasp? Thank you.